Hello, and welcome back to Tips and Time Savers. I'm Danny Rocks, and in today's lesson, I'm going to demonstrate the multiple options that you have when sorting your data in Excel. Let's begin. Here we have a typical data set with our sales organized in chronological sequence by month. Well, inevitably, somebody's going to come over and say, I'd like to see the sales organized from top to bottom. In other words, high to low. So with one cell selected, let's come up here into the uh, data tab on the ribbon and let's use the icon which now says sort largest to smallest. That's what we want by request. Now, presuming that we've performed additional actions and maybe saved or closed this worksheet, we need to put this back into a chronological sequence. Now, many people come over here and they think, well, very simple, I'll just sort this in ascending order. <laughs> well, it does sort in ascending order, alphabetically. So how do we get it back into chronological sequence? In other words, by calendar month. Well, fortunately, we have calendar months as one of the built-in custom lists in Excel. So data tab on the ribbon, use the sort command. What we want is to sort by month. We want to sort on values, but not using ascending or descending. Rather, we want to use one of the built-in custom lists. Now, notice over here that in our data set, we have the three character uh, representation of the month. So that's what we want to select. Click OK. Close this down. And bingo, we've put this back into the proper sorting order. Now, we can create our own custom list. So rather than sorting this by alphabetical sequence, east and then north and south and west, we want to use this sequence, north, south, east, and west. So to create a custom list, make sure that you uh, create that list in uh, contiguous cells. As a best practice, because we're going to be using this throughout the uh, our Excel program, we want to spell check it. So the F7 key brings up the spell check, and great, our records are uh, spelled correctly. They're still selected. Now let's create a custom list. In Excel 2010, click on the File button for Backstage View and go into Excel Options. Choose the Advanced tab and scroll all the way down to the bottom. Here is the command for editing the custom list. So here we see the built-in list for months of the year and days of the week. Our range is selected, so we see it down there. We simply click Import, click OK, and close the options down. Now we can use this in our custom sorts as well as autofill. Once again, with one cell selected in the data set, Data tab on the ribbon, click Sort. In this case, we first want to sort based upon our custom list. So we want to sort using the division and the values that we're going to use, we want to sort using the custom list. Point to the custom list that you wish to use, click OK, and now we have that already set. Now let's add a level because within the division, we want to sort by month, again, using that custom list of the calendar year. We're using the three character uh, version of the months. Click OK. Click OK. So now we have our sort. I'll use page down so you can see north, south, east, and west. And then within that, we have January, February, March. All right, let's move over to another sorting uh, opportunity. Beginning with Excel 2007, we have a major improvement in um, uh, conditional formatting. Let me highlight a cell range over here. I'll use Control, Shift, and the down arrow. And for conditional formatting, what I used over here was an icon set. This is the icon set that I'm using. It's a group of three. So the green arrow indicates that we have values that are in the top third of the data set. The yellow horizontal indicates that the values are in the middle third, and the red pointing down icon is values that are in the bottom third. I'll use Control Home to come back up here, and I want to select a single cell. In this case, what I want to do is I want to sort by icon set. So once again, return to the data tab on the ribbon, choose sort. And in this case, I want to sort sales. And in this case, I want to use an icon. So I'm going to use the cell icon. And in this case, 
I want to have the green arrow on the top. Let's copy this level and let's make one change over here. Now I want to change this so that I have the red pointing down on the bottom. Now, of course, I could get the same effect by sorting this in descending order, but it helps to illustrate the point. All right, finally, let's come over and use another way that we can sort our data, this time to rearrange the column order. So I'm looking over here at the way the data set was created, and I'm saying, I really don't like this. I really want to have the employee ID over here as the first column. Well, rather than doing cut and paste and inserting cells and deleting columns, there's an easier way to do it. On top of the labels, indicate the number that you wish to have your data rearranged horizontally. So I want to have that as the first column, last name as the second column. I want first name to be the third column going from left to right. I want the title as the fourth, and finally, I want the hire date as the fifth. Now, in this case, we're going to make one change. We want to make sure that we select all of the data, including the new arrangement that we want. So with one cell selected, let's use Control-A to make that selection. All right, so after we have selected all of the data, including the headers, come over here into Options. I want to sort from left to right. But I have to tell Excel which row I want to use. Now, notice that in row 3, I have the new order. So I want to sort left to right using the order in uh, ascending order, smallest to largest, in row 3. Click OK. <laughs> there you go. Now, the data is sorted. It's reorganized exactly the way that I wanted to have it. So these are just a few of the tips that I cover in my nine essential skills for Excel, available for Excel 2007, 2010, on either a DVD-ROM or for immediate download. And I'll look for you in the next lesson.